guys, this is Kaide with the Gunpla Review on the Crossbone Gundam X1 Full Cloth Type GPFT from Build Fighters Try. This high grade kit took me 6 hours to complete. The Gundam by himself took me 3 hours and another 3 hours for the stickers and his accessories. Here you can see him on display stand. I recommend him on display stand because he has so much stuff on him that it really hinders his posture if he is not on a play stand. On the left we have the real grade Mark II. On the right we have the MS Pulse version of the Talky Master Grade version. This kit, this crossbone, it's shorter than my orange Zaku. It's a very small kit by himself. And all the effects and weapons he comes with, it definitely makes up for it. So that movie is out of the way. Oops. The white on this kit, I have to say it's not the greatest white. The white is kind of like a pearl kind of white. It's supposed to be like a bone white, but I don't think it does the job very well because it's such a shiny white. Turn this around. These white, not white, these yellow and black parts you see here, all of those are actually stickers. And these stickers were such a pain to deal with. You basically just stick them to the edge of the wing and then you fold them to the back. So they're not exactly flat stickers, and I hate those. We have two, four, six, eight stickers, and then we have another eight on this other side. So that's 16 stickers of these pesky, pesky uh, surfaces. As you can see, there's a crossbone, not a crossbone. It's kind of like a crossbone. It's kind of like a cartoony skull face. It has one plastic piece for the head, one for the teeth. These two, these two are gray eyes, and those are stickers as well. So there's eight of these. And then there's two of these. There's 10 stickers on each side alone for his shoulder. This piece is literally just one shoulder. The shoulder took not forever, but a lot of more time than I would like to have taken. These stickers aren't flat either. I'm swinging around. These, these wings, I wish they were black. Of course, you can correct them with paint, but I... I am not painting this one. This is blue. I would say it would be better if it was a darker blue or a black. These red lines you see here, those are also stickers. This gray piece you see in the middle, that is also a sticker. His backpack is really cool. I like it. It's, it reminds me of like a satellite cannon or something. You can, you take it off. You can move these thrusters. Like up. Or down. There's the other shoulder. I call them wings. They, no, they seem like wings to me. They just snap onto the shoulder. I have this crossbow. Actually, let's not get to that yet. These are stickers also. These attach. This is a two piece. It's kind of like a side skirt where they just lift up like this. Kind of like his robe or something. This guy is really, he's a really cool looking model kit. It's just that the overall quality and products, I'm not really a fan of it. These yellow parts are not stickers. I don't know why they could have done more of that on the wings. On the wings, basically. You have this crossbow, it's one, two, two pieces that snap on top, one, two on top and bottom. And then I believe it's two pieces in the bottom. There's his crossbow is four pieces. His face, you can see it. This isn't the best camera. There's a crossbow on his 
headpiece, which I think it's cool. But like I said, the white isn't the greatest. It's like a pearl, pearlescent white. So the crossbone is more shiny rather than menacing. And the same, same thing goes with the uh, crossbone on this chest. There's also a crossbow on both sides of this sword gun. This is the effect parts. They're pretty heavy. I tried to mimic the pose on the, the front of the box. Those, there's the V-fin. These red parts, this collar, they're stickers. These yellow parts are also stickers. So yeah, let's see if I can take them off the display without everything collapsing. Aside for the quality, guys, I am using a webcam, so you're not going to get very up close detail. It's kind of good for just like a medium range. All right, I'm going to take everything off of this guy so you can see how small he is. I can take up this, take up this sword. We got this crossbow, thankfully it just comes off rather easily. You just hold it in his hand. So this is a shoulder piece. As you can see, there's like a peg right there. It goes right on his shoulder, like that. It's really not a it's not a it's not a rather secure location. But yeah, I just go like that. And then these wings are on, they're on like ball joints. You take it off. These wings can twirl like that. They can open, they can close. They're really kind of flimsy. You take off this side. This kit is, my Zaku was 4.8 inches tall. This is shorter than that. This is probably 4.6. Yeah, 4.6 would be about right. Take off his backpack. This is the kit by himself. It is rather tiny. It is almost, it is shorter than a real grade than most real grades. Than the, it's shorter than my red S frame, red frame S ray real grade that I've had before. It's very skinny. For articulation, without everything on him, we have for the head. We don't have a lot of motions. Let's see. For the head, we had up, we had down. That's about it. There's all for good. You have up, you can turn it all the way around. You can't turn his head all the way around because there's so much, his collar is blocking it by this piece right here. He has a bicep swivel. He has a, a nice, let me see if I can get that better. That's a pretty nice, it's more than 90 degrees, so his arms aren't bad. For his legs, if you can see them, I can lift this up. We have forward, wait, this is blocked by a side skirt. We have forward, we have side, and then we have double jointed knees. Like that. You have pivoting at the top. You have sideways, sideways pivot. And there's a piece right here. You can move them like, like so. Hey, 
his body, you're not going to get any F punch or anything. He can swivel, of course. He has side skirts front, left and right, they can. They can hardly move. They can move though. There's a hole in the side skirt. You can just peg this musket or whatever. And his back side skirt is stationary. Um, and on for the accessories, he has many accessories. That's the best thing of this kit. Let's bring it out. It comes with this two-piece core fighter. It's the same pearlescent white that I don't like in this kit. It's it's very just a white core fighter. It's really plain. What you do is that you it's, this core fighter is just two pieces. You just take two pieces, snap one on top, one on bottom. You take, and then you take his uh, backpack. It looks like a satellite. You just let's fix this. You put all these thrusters facing that way. So there's a peg right here, and then you just put it behind a core fighter. Of course, I like it better behind the crossbow rather than the support fighter thing. That's the support fighter. You can just go wish, I guess. And we have two beam tapers. This kit also comes with a shield. We have a nice looking clear shield, parts that goes behind it, so it goes like this. That's not it. It's this one. You peg it like that. And then his arm. You take this part behind his arm and you'll let's see. Let's see. Take this arm off. No, you actually just swing it, and then you have to take this piece off. It'll come off. Come on. Oh, okay. Let me go grab that. So, of course, his hand would be there. You swing this around, take this piece off. And then you reattach it like that. So it's like a small little white block. And then those, in this white block, there's four pegs, and you take this and you peg it. Like so. Like that. Hmm. There it is. Finally. So this is his arm. You peg it and then you pose it for like a blocking blocking shield effect. Like that. It's alright. Next you have There's two knives. You can put them on his hand, or you can also put it under his shoe. So if you have a display base, you can like kick something with daggers. Two daggers, just one piece each. And then we have the saber and a musket. So yeah, guys, this guy comes with a lot of accessories. If you like the crossbone. Go for it, but if you don't like a lot of stickers, if you just despise stickers, stay away from this kit. This this kit is majority it's, it's majority stickers. It's the mask kit comes with like a one green sticker. So this kit 
I didn't enjoy building it. I just enjoy the the box art looked really cool. And the theme of a Gundam Pirate seems cool too. It's just that the white doesn't grab my attention at all. They're not very it's not very good. The white, the stickers, and overall how tiny the Gundam by himself is without everything, and it's just disappointing me. So I would probably just gonna leave this guy in a display stand forever. And do some poses and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy the review. I know it's long, but I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time. Arr, who stepped aboard my ship? Oh.